channel. I hope everybody's doing well. I just wanted to shoot a little video today. Uh, I don't know if I've talked about it all in any of the videos. I don't think I have, but uh, I've been looking at uh, polymer pistols, uh, different side pieces, handguns. Uh, I looked at Glocks and Berettas and a lot of different guns, different calibers. Uh, I was originally want, wanting to go with a 45, 45 auto. Um, I've always liked that caliber, but I didn't uh, for different reasons: uh, cost, availability. Uh, so this video is just to uh, just to show you uh, what I ended up going with and uh, some of my impressions on it. Um, I ended up going with a Ruger, actually. I, uh, I really like this gun. I've actually shot uh, around 50 rounds through it so far. It's uh, been doing really well for me. It's a uh, 9 millimeter. So, uh, why don't I uh, give you a closer look here. We'll open her up and I'll show you. Alright, so here it is. Uh, get these out of the way. Like I said, I went with a Ruger. It just uh, it met what I was looking for in a new handgun. Like I said, I looked at Springfield Arms. I looked at Smith & Wesson M&Ps. I looked at Glocks. I looked at a bunch of them. They were all really nice guns. Uh, they all make a good gun. This just fit me more than the other ones did right at this time so let me show you here give you a nice uh, flambeau case with it that's one thing that attracted me right there you see that nice big American flag um, open her up here we got the instruction manual got the transaction paperwork got a nice sticker Got a uh, encouragement for the NRA to join if you aren't already joined. Uh, there's a 20% on Ruger Sportswear and Accessories at shopruger.com. Ruger.com, website, advertisement, all the normal gun stuff that you get with a new gun. So, nothing fancy there. This gun. Of course, they give you a trigger lock with all them now. Like I said, this is a 9mm. It's the SR9 is what I went with. Uh, I was never a real, real big fan of the 9mm uh, round. That was until I started looking into things more and uh, looking at cost and actually looking at some of the ballistics too. Uh, you compare a 9mm plus P round to a 40, it's uh, pretty, pretty, pretty decently close actually. Uh, and it's, it's more than enough to knock something down if you need to. I, this is mainly a truck gun for me, everyday carry gun. I didn't get a smaller gun. They make this in a compact series. It's an SR9C or you can get a 40 or 45. I went with the uh, service size revolver. Or not revolver, yeah, revolver, automatic because uh, I have big hands and uh, this gun fits me really nice. I like having the full length handle on it. It uh, has 17 round mags, that's a bonus, and uh, they make some pretty nice ammo for these. This is a Hornady critical defense here, hollow point that uh, I keep in it. But I've, uh, I really like this gun. It's empty, of course. Uh, and as far as safety, Ruger is really, really exceptional when it comes to that. They have uh, a drop safety built into it, like the Glocks. It has a 1911 style safety, which is ambidextrous, both sides. So if you're ready or lefty. Uh, it has clip release, both sides. So that's nice. Uh, it has the trigger style safety where 
you can't depress the trigger unless you push that center piece in and it has a phenomenal trigger on it uh, I'm not sure what the poundage is but it I wouldn't think it'd be more than four pounds it's got a really nice trigger pull uh, they put this on them I'm not real real keen about it this pops up when it's loaded uh, it's kind of corny I'd be happy if it didn't have that and just a little sight window in there so you could see it but it is what it is and uh, I'll get used to it but yeah that's it Ruger SR9C like I said I've run about 50 rounds through it so far just ball ammo um, it has fully adjustable sights elevation and windage that was another draw for me I like that it's got the uh, universal rail here you can put a flashlight or a laser or whatever on it um, I got the old black one they make these with a stainless slide a lot of them but this is basically just a uh, everyday kind of beat around gun if it gets a scratch on it I'm not gonna get real upset like I would if it was a nice 1911 or something you know uh, price point on these around 400 bucks somewhere around there so I bought a bunch of other stuff that day and you know with the 9 millimeter now you get like I just picked this Remington you know it's just 115 grain ball ammo up but I can buy this for eleven dollars for 50 rounds I know it says 14.99 but it was on sale and I can't shoot the 22 mag for that I mean 22 magnum 17 bucks for 50 rounds so who'd ever thought that would happen but uh, I don't know these ammo prices are kind of out of control that's kind of why I went with a 9 I want to be able to shoot you you want to be proficient with the gun that you're carrying all the time you know? so that was why I uh, decided to go with the 9 I can put a plus P round or a plus P plus round in this and it's got plenty of power it'll do what I need if I want a bigger gun for out in the woods to carry, I'll carry a revolver. Uh, and then this is the side holster I got for it. It's a, uh, I believe Phobos is the name of it. Nice definite lock, trigger trigger guard on it. They make these in Israel. They were uh, made for law enforcement. It's got the, the angle on it. I really like this holster. It's comfortable. It slides inside your waist. I didn't get an inside the waistband for it. I don't know if I will or not. I haven't decided if I'm really going to conceal this gun or just, you know, mainly use it for a truck gun. So that's it. I just thought you guys might like this, and uh, I'll know how I like the gun later on after I put another couple hundred rounds through it, you know. Uh, they give you a loader with it too, which is nice. Because this spring in this thing is like super hard, so. Press that. And you can load your 17 rounds. You get down about halfway, that spring really starts getting tight, so a loader works really nice. Okay, so that's uh, that's the new gun. Uh, I think I called it an SR9C by accident in that last uh, second there. SR9. SR9C is a compact version. This is the SR9. Let me give you a little closer look here. Three dot white sights on it. I think I'm going to put the true glows on it here. Striker fired. I do like it though. Like I said, it shoots really nice, has a nice trigger. I had no misfires with it yet, no jams, and I was just shooting some uh, cheap blazer brass out of it. So 
I haven't tried those Remington UMCs yet. We'll have to see how they go. And then here's that holster. And it just uh, slides in your belt. Like so. Nice definite lock. You actually got to push it on the side here to pull it out so it works good. And you can't you can get it out fast if you need to, so yeah. So that's the new sidearm. I just thought I'd show it to you guys. Thought maybe you'd be curious to see it. And uh that's about it. Uh I'll let you guys know how it does if I have any problems with it or if it jams up. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys out there have one. Like I said, you can get this in a 9mm, a 40mm, and a 45mm. So, uh, 45 would have been nice, but like I said, with the ammo prices and the availabilities and everything, I decided to go with the 9. So, you can also flip this pad around. It's either domed like I have it or flat. And I went with the uh, dome side out. It gives you a nice, feels good, you know, it's like a palm swell, so. Well, that's it. Uh, we'll see how she does, if I have any malfunctions or problems with it. Uh, I don't think I told you, this is a lifetime warranty on this gun. That was another big draw to it, so. That's great having a lifetime warranty. Um, plenty of ammo options out there. So we should be set. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, I'm starting to get some suggestions from the last video on what to call the new series, uh, the new chat topic series. So keep rolling in your suggestions on that last video. In another week or so here, we'll uh, we'll pick one of them. So I think that's it. Thank you for all your support and the subscriptions. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks for uh, supporting the channel. If uh, you have any comments about the questions about the gun, leave in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you know anybody who would like the channel, please share the videos with them. And I think that's about it then. So, I will see you guys on the next video. And until next time, have a good evening.